In this tutorial in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018, we're going to look at how to create a special kind of title. I call it a technical title, or you might even call it an electronic title. It's a title you often see at the beginning of a scene in an action adventure movie that tells you when you are or where you are, or both. Let's give you an example of a semi-finished product, and then we'll show you how to construct it. What we're going to do here is we start with our footage. We have a nice aerial shot or drone shot of downtown Portland. Real nice scene, but it doesn't have much zip to it until we add the audio track. And I put on audio one, a dramatic piece of audio. Let me unmute it and you can get the flavor of it again. Okay, that's going to work pretty good. But when you're watching it with that kind of music, it just begs the question, where are we or when are we? And so we're going to answer that question by using the special type of title. So I move up into my track number two. I click on uh, the current time indicator, move it to the left. I click on text, new text, default text. And now I have my title. So what I want to do, I want to highlight that and then change the font. I like Orbitron for this. You may find one that you like more, but this is what, what I prefer to use. And then I'll click back into the text box with my caps lock key. It's almost always uppercase. And type in Portland, Oregon. One thing I want to do is maybe make it a little bit smaller. I'll try maybe something in the high 50s. And then I'm going to take it and move it down to the left. The next thing I want to do is go to animation. I'm going to choose the fade in by characters and click on apply. And so let's see what we have by now. Okay, that's not too bad, but we don't have any technical sound of the letters popping on the screen. So what I'm going to do next is go into my project assets. I have a little audio file called scanner. We'll take that and drag it down into audio track number two. And we'll go ahead and play this and see what we can see and hear. Now the timing is off. So one thing I need to do is either lengthen this sound or shorten the title. In this case, for this example, we'll just shorten the title. And now we'll see what we get. Now, one thing I cannot do is control the fade in by characters. So I have to adjust either the length of this or the length of the audio. But let's see what we, we hear and see when we do it this way. It's pretty good. They're pretty much on top of one another. Now, I would like to have the Portland, Oregon to stay on the screen a, a bit longer, but if I lengthen this, it throws it out of sync. So I found a workaround. I'll show you what I've done. I'll take Project Assets and I'll take my title. This is called Title 11. I'll right click on it and duplicate it. And I'm just going to rename this. I'll call this uh, P2 for Portland 2. And I'll drag it down and drop it right behind the first one. Maybe make it a little bit shorter. Double click on it and I'll just remove the animation. And so now I have my title with the fade by characters applied and then I have a title with no fade by characters. Let's see what difference this makes. Okay, now I have the best of both worlds. It's on the screen, but I also controlled the, the sound with the words. Now I'm going to add one more. We're going to do one for not the location, but the time of day, day of week. 
So what I want to do is bring that in at the right moment. So I'm going to show you another tool we have here. We're going to go into our soundtrack here. I'll right click on the sound, click on clip and beat detect. And we'll let go ahead and detect beats and then it adds uh, a beat track with these little blue markers in it. I'm going to turn on my my track with my dramatic theme. And this is the one I want. So just to make it easy, I'm going to clear all the other ones. Okay, now we're going to take another title track and match it to the beat. So what I want to do is go to my project assets. I'll take my original one called Title 11 and I will duplicate it again. This time I'm going to rename this. We'll call this Time. And we'll take and drag it down, lock it into the beat there. I'll double click on it to edit it. I don't want to say Portland, Oregon. Here I want to say Friday, July 24th, and we'll make it 8 45 a.m. And now I have this one coming on the screen. What I want to do now is go ahead and add in that same sound. Drag it down and I'll shorten my track. And let's see what that sounds like once I render it. Okay, that looks good. Now the only other thing I need to do is go back to my assets. On my time, right click and duplicate it. It's called time copy. I can leave it at that name. I don't really care right now. And we'll put it behind here. Shorten it maybe a little bit. Double click on it. And we're going to turn off the animation. And I'll render it again. And now let's play it and see what it looks like. So you could go ahead and play with the timing to make it fit perfectly in your finished product, but this gives you an idea of how to construct this kind of special titling, which has proven effective over and over in the film industry. Mm -hmm.